Hello guys. So here I'm going to talk about what are the tips to prepare for national exit test. Because still now majority of the students as well as the young medicos do not have a concrete pattern or idea regarding what is the preparation pattern for the national exit test or national exit exam. So as per the recent notification circulating on social media, the first batch to take the next exam will be 2018 batch approximately by March 2023. So previously, majority of the students used to join in coaching institutes during or after internship to prepare for the NEET PG. And in few medical colleges, students used to prepare right from the first year by means of foundation batches and certain set of students used to purchase an online application and study whenever and wherever possible. Even now, same thing is happening everywhere because the present exam, whether it is foreign medical graduate exam or NEET PG exam, focusing mainly on rote learning methodology, meaning they are concentrating more on the facts rather than the concepts. So the present exam focuses mainly on testing the facts instead of the clinical scenarios. So the clinical scenarios or STEM based questions weightage is maximum up to 30% in the present NEED PG exam pattern. But in future, that is in the national exit test, the clinical scenarios are going to be around 90% and only 10% of the questions will be focused on facts or we can say one-liners. So now the students of Indian medical colleges cannot join in coaching during or after internship because they have to clear the national exit test immediately after final year of MBBS. And after passing national exit test one, that is next one only, they are eligible to join the internship. Therefore, Every medical student who joined MBBS in 2018 and onwards should change the preparation plan to crack this national exit test. So next one, as I already mentioned, is proposed to be held in March 2023. And after passing next one, an internship is proposed to complete in March. And next two is proposed to be held in April. And PG course is expected to start in July. This is the overall pattern of the national exit test and what will be the roadmap of you after finishing the national exit test. So during your MBBS itself, students need to get up preparing for the national exit exam right from the first year. So now let's focus on the preparation tips for the national exit test. I want to tell each and every student that you have to focus mainly on the basics. Remember the point guys, 90% of the questions in the next will be case based type. And it is going to test problem solving abilities of a student and understand the competency level of a student, whether he is capable to treat the patient or not. So the updated curriculum of the National Medical Council. So the National Exit Test Pattern is aimed towards understanding the concepts and improving the clinical skills of a student, especially in terms of diagnosis and treatment for a given clinical scenario. So the national exit test is aimed to reduce the rote learning strategy used by the MBBS students to pass their foreign medical graduate exam or PG entrance examinations. So these questions which are going to come in the national exit test are going to be purely clinical based. So it is hard to say that what subject the question belongs to because the questions are going to integrate multiple subjects in a given case scenario. Therefore, it is important to change the way and the pattern of your study. So what I feel is it is better to take a system based approach rather than a subject based approach. For example, if you take cardiovascular system, you should study first anatomy of the heart, physiology of the heart, that is serious physiology and enzymes used in the diagnosis of the cardiovascular diseases, that is biochemistry of the heart 
pathology of the heart and pharmacology of the heart and so on, right? So by this what happens is you can integrate the knowledge you have acquired from one subject to other. So therefore what I tell you is ensure that you strengthen your fundamental concepts of a system thoroughly. And another important point I want to tell here is concentrate on critical concepts and the key information related to any condition or a disease. So the major difference between the NEET PG as well as the national exit test is the proportion of the clinical questions, right? The questions will judge you on what you are capable of rather than what you read and how much you have read. So what are the key strategies? to answer a case-based question. Remember the point. The case-based questions are meant to be quite challenging. Therefore, building and mastering a systemic approach is the best as well as the most efficient way to maximize your grades or scores. Hence, the general strategy I want you to focus on is this one. First, whenever you see a clinical-based question, read the last line first. Because most of the time, the question stems are long. They are big, like four to five lines and sometimes eight lines of questions will be there. But sometimes the question they ask doesn't rely on the information in the stem. For example, they may provide a long patient case approximately of five lines or eight lines only to ask what is the most common cause of hypertension for which you do not need the complete patient information. This can be a time saver for you. So, read last line first and start with the question stem and look at the answer choices. This allows you to frame your thinking pattern while studying the case itself. And another important point is, read the case with a balanced pace without overly focusing on every detail or underthinking and just relying on the buzzwords. So, build a comprehensive picture of the case at the hand. So first you need to cross off the incorrect answers, meaning for example, if you have five options in the answers, you should know that yes, these two are absolutely wrong. So then what happens is out of three, it will become narrow your options and increase the chances of answering correctly. And the most important aspect whenever you are answering the clinical based questions are pick the best answer. So whatever the choices which are left after removing the incorrect options, pick the answer that most holistically answers the question being asked. And don't worry if you don't feel 100% certain and you aren't supposed to. So therefore, concentrate more on your gut feeling whenever you are selecting the right choice out of three options which are available, which are similar or which are confusing. And while studying about a particular disease or a condition in any given subject or a chapter, you should concentrate mainly on few important facts like what is the age of the patient, race, gender, past history, what are the most common cause or common causes of the condition, what are the chief complaints when the patient is presenting, what is the initial diagnosis, what is the definitive diagnosis, what is the best initial treatment and what is the treatment of choice. So these are the facts you need to know about each and every condition. So once you know these facts, then you can integrate and apply the knowledge and picturize the patient which is presented in front of you. This is how you can master all the clinical case scenarios related to each and every condition related to each and every subject. Now concentrate on focusing on the buzzwords. So majority of the students, what they will do is, They'll see one particular word, we call it as buzzword or one particular clinical presentation and they come to the conclusion that yes, this case belongs to a particular disease. So the buzzword, the medical student doesn't really understand what's going on but only looks for the patterns. For example, this is someone who skims the entire case and sees a particular point called as pain radiating to the back. So immediately by seeing pain radiating to the back, he thinks that it may be aortic dissection. But he misses that the answer is actually acute pancreatitis because even in aortic dissection as well as in the acute pancreatitis, the pain radiates towards the back. So if you do not concentrate on the entire history, gender, age, present complaint, 
everything. If you don't concentrate on the entire case, if you just concentrate on buzzwords and there is a maximum chance that the question may go wrong. So you may get some questions correct with this type of approach, but you will find your scores to be remarkably below average. So these type of student who concentrate mainly on the buzzwords stays at the plateau early and have trouble progressing in their studies. So what I recommend to all of you is read the case and keep a steady pace, but you are just barely skimming it and trying to find an easy pattern without putting in thought and using your knowledge, you will likely miss every question that has already a slight trick and you will certainly make lots of simple mistakes for the diseases with similar clinical presentations. So what I will tell to all of you is avoid buzzword learning while pattern recognition of the case is extremely important and don't simply solve cases with one word association alone. And at last what I want to tell to each and every student is start studying early because Another important point to consider is that student previously had approximately 9 to 11 months to prepare for NEET PG and approximately they used to have 6 to 9 months for foreign medical graduate exam preparation after graduation. But with the introduction of the national exit test, you won't be having luxury of time because the test will be conducted after the final year rather than the post internship even though that may be an exclusion for the foreign medical graduates if they have already completed the internship in their like respective university in the country where they have studied their med school. Therefore, what I recommend to all the students is to start studying from first year itself or at least from second year of your MBBS so that you will not feel any kind of anxiety or pressure when you are at a final year of MBBS because starting from the beginning, concentrating on each and every subject, studying every subject in the form of a system based approach concentrating mainly on the clinicals is going to help you a lot and also whenever you learn concepts concepts are the one is going to stay for the long term especially in the long term memory and this is what is going to help you whenever you are solving case based questions. So this is how you have to plan for preparing the national exit test and I hope that you all will do this. Best of luck.